Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is very similar to a quest we've had in the past, but let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to get 50 rewards points for doing this. This one is a weekly quest, so it needs to be finished by the 10th. And we need to get 2500 score within Star Wars Battlefront 2. So if you remember from last time, we need to do this within the multiplayer aspects of the game. This does not appear to be available on the cloud, so you'll want to actually download this to your Xbox and play it there. Now you can skip this opening cutscene and go ahead and get connected straight into the main menu. And then I'll show you the multiplayer mode that I would recommend to do this a little bit quicker than we did last time, actually. So let's press the right bumper and move over to co-op missions. It's technically still multiplayer, but you'll be playing against AI computer players instead of against human players, and the AI are definitely a lot easier to defeat. I would probably recommend pressing Y here and selecting Play Any, so it doesn't matter which force is available, you'll get joined into a match just a little bit faster. I actually chose Galactic Republic just because it was the first option, but Play Any is also available to get you into a match a little bit faster. And once your match gets started up, you can choose what type of soldier class you would like. You've got Assault, Heavy, Officer, and Specialist. In Battlefront 2, I like to play as the Officer because he has a grenade and a turret available, so I like to use both of those. As soon as you get started, you can choose who you want to spawn next to. You can spawn in the default location or next to any of the other fighters that are already out there on the field. As long as they're still alive and they're in white, then you can potentially spawn next to them and just join in with the fight. If you spawn at the default location, you'll be a little bit further back and you'll have to work your way over to the different objectives. Ideally, once you get into your co-op match, you'll be doing some defending. I was actually on the attacking side here, so I had to run to one of these capture points to either A or B. And if you look at your mini-map on the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see where enemies are in relation to the direction that you're facing. So that can kind of give you a heads up about where the computer players are that you need to defeat. Very similar to other third-person shooters, hold down your left trigger to aim and right trigger to shoot. And then if you want to throw your grenade, you can hit the left bumper and toss it out into a crowd and hopefully get some kills that way. If you use the right bumper as the officer, you'll put down your turret, which is a great way to get some kills as well. And talking about the score that we need to get, we actually get 100 points for dying. And then for some of the kills I got there, you can see I got a total of 965 points so far. So we're doing pretty well, well on the way to the 2,500 that we need. So you get 100 points for dying, 100 points for an assist, 100 points for a kill, and then for any damage that you do to the computer players, you'll get points for those as well. So you can imagine it adds up pretty quickly. You can see I didn't even do that well on that first round, and I still got over 900 points. So my guess is you're only probably going to need to do one match to complete this, so that is awesome. And the matches can go anywhere from like 5 minutes to about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how well everybody does. And we don't do that well, we actually get defeated in this one pretty quickly. You can see my turret's going to work there. Hit the right bumper if you want to lay down your turret. But you actually don't even have to win your match, you can get defeated, and that is actually an easy way to get through it more quickly. So if you if you lose your match, that is fine. And as far as your abilities, those are at the lower right-hand corner of the screen. You can see I've got my turret up right now, and I just threw my grenade and was able to take somebody out with that. You can kind of watch your abilities recharge at the lower right corner of the screen, so you can't always use them if you've just used them too recently. But So we are already at over 3,000 points. You can see I've died a few times, killing a few times, but died a few times as well. So we're already there at this point. So whenever the match is over, that should go ahead and finish up the quest for me. So we'll go ahead and fast forward just a little bit to our defeat, which happens pretty quickly. We went into an overtime, but we weren't able to capture any of the capture points within time, so we did end up getting defeated overall. So the quest doesn't seem to unlock in the middle of the match, at least not in my experience, so you do actually need to go ahead and finish out the match before it will unlock, 
and I actually didn't get a quest notification on this one until really late in the process. You'll see it pop up in just a minute. But you can see at the upper left corner in second place, there's my score of 3,728. So as long as you end up with more than 2,500, you should be in good shape. You can just hit B to quit out of the matchmaking queue. And then if we switch over to the Game Pass app, we should be able to see that the quest has been unlocked over there. So we'll go ahead and switch over to Game Pass. And there we go. You can see that the quest is at 100%. So we'll go ahead and turn that in. And actually, I get the notification right here, so it's a little delayed. But anyway, nonetheless, it is complete. We are going to have quest guides coming out for all of the monthly August quests that have just been released for Cluster Truck, the Hunter Call of the Wild, and all of the other August quests. So stay tuned for more on those here on the channel. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.